Hi, Scott Grove here from Magic Grove, and I wanted to talk about squareness. I'm working on a, a, a high tolerance project, and my panels have got to be uh, right on the money, not only in dimension, but also in squareness. And if you're doing any sort of cabinetry, you got to start out square. And a lot of people don't have a sliding table saw. You might be using a frame square. Uh, which you cannot trust, and I'll talk about how to check these and actually how to true these up in another episode. So it's important to, to check the squareness of your equipment, however you're cutting your, uh, your panels. Take a piece of MDF, it was a five-sided a five, five cut. Say that three times fast. First thing you want to do is make sure your edge is straight. Do not trust the sheet of plywood. Uh, off the rack that edge is a factory edge, but it may not be straight So if you don't have a sliding table saw you don't want to use a, a, a machined straight edge or a track saw So you got to get that thing straight once you have it straight You'll want to use your straight edge on your reference edge now I have a sliding table saw and I understand a lot of you guys probably don't have sliding table saws They're great by the way Many of you might have boats that fit on a, on a, on a table saw. Uh, that works well. Or even if you're using a uh, track saw squaring system, you still want to check your cut. So how do you do that? You do a five-sided cut. I'm going to do that real quick. We'll speed this thing up, and then I'll explain what that's all about. Uh, I, I don't have to cut off much. I'm just going to take off an eighth of an inch, and I'm going to use the previous reference edge. So I use my straight edge. I cut, turn it. Make another cut. I do that five times around. Let me show you what that's about. First, your, your test panel can be any size. As you saw, I went around and made five cuts, and it didn't matter how much I cut off either. You just want to be take sure you take something off. The last cut, you might want to cut about quarter inch, half inch, again, it's not that important. So now, this should be parallel. Keep in mind, I'm not using a fence, I'm using a fence that's perpendicular to the blade. So by breaking this in half, and taking this back edge and putting it on top and laying it down, ooh, it's perfect. Uh, and that's how you check, because uh, if, it's, if this back end is different from the front, your fence is slightly off. Which way do you move the fence? If the back end is wider than the front end, you want to take your fence and move this side forward. Okay, I actually have written this down on the side here because I can never remember that, but that's, uh, that's what you want to do. And you only want to move it one fourth of what the difference is. Sorry for the vacuum pump. So I hope that helps. Uh, that's how you, you, you check your squareness and make your adjustment. It's very, very important you start out straight and square and if you don't it's just going to magnify problems and make it worse for you down the road so take the time uh check your saw and it should go a lot smoother down the road so i hope that helps tip of the day and uh please subscribe to my youtube channel imagine grove and or like this uh subscribe to this uh channel here and thanks again for watching remember to find a line and cross it okay bye